Hi guys, we're back. Easy way. Episode two, Splinter Cell. Fuel is in free, man. How fucking rude! Just Colonel shot Quintus, him. Major Robertson, we don't, we don't have, have time, time to chat. chat. Our, Our timetable time says your men need to move. <coughs> Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, Good. Keep, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to 3rd Echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the Yankees, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. It might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just get to it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Okay. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside Third Echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta, <clears throat> and Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere, and the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly, but what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? Bitch. I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay, I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so 3rd Echelon's birds can't <clears throat> find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. Stand it up. 
in Indonesia. Now, you don't know the half of it. Third Echelon took a guy who was already nine-tenths homicidal badass and then turned him into a whole new level of killing machine. And then they brought him here. Why? How if I know? Oh, crap! Oh! <laughs> Grim, I've got the package. Good. Now here's the plan. They may not be able to track my car by GPS, but they've got a chopper on site that means they don't need to. They'll just blow me off the road. We're far enough out into the sticks that no one will notice. You need to disable that chopper, or you're not going anywhere. Roger that. That would be better to hold off on the detonation. 100% full coverage. Let it settle through another pass. There's no second chance with this stuff. You think it's really gonna work? Don't know. But I don't want to be the guy flying this thing who finds out the hard way that it did it. It's not gonna dry quick enough. It better. We're field testing the stuff sooner than I'd like. We'll better keep laying it on, man. What do you think we'll be done? Soon. That's what you always say. And I'm never wrong, am I? What is this crap anyway? Here, prep, prep Shielding material. Well, what's in it? This copper on top of a fiberglass matrix. U.S. Army started working on it in the 90s. Our R&D guys infected. I guess they're good for something. Don't underestimate the value of having the smart guys on your side. Smart guys always make dumb mistakes, though. And that's why we're testing it. Jesus! Anybody know who did it? Oh, shit. <sighs> shit. We got a problem here. We need to find this guy! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Down. There's another guy there. Grim, I've taken care of the chopper. Now I need to take down the field's electrical grid. Good call. Black Arrow jury rigged the hell out of the original system when they converted the airfield from civilian use. So it's vulnerable. The power relays are probably the weakest oh, point. No, no, Where no, do I, I find them? The one passing, of the yeah. barracks had one put in. Exposed inside the building. And that's my best bet. Not done. There's probably a light switch in there. Up, up, crystal. Look, I can touch that. That's fairly upgraded.
guy there. Discover that body out there. It's not good, I think. Okay, I thought there was a guy going to be in here, but apparently not. That's cool. Car is parked just outside the gate off the main wall, but as things stand, you won't get far. What haven't you told me? There's a satellite dish <clears> on site <throat> with an uplink to a private spy bird. Use some C4 to take it out. I thought your car was clean. I don't got it time is. for games, asshole. But if they get a visual lock out. on you in the sat, it won't matter. Why don't you go see if there's anything else you forgot we to mention? We need some lights on the helipad. Give me some emergency lights. Across anything else. Where'd he go? Don't bother trying to hide. I know you're here. I'm gonna catch him if you do. Swear. Where is he? I can't see him. <laughs> Holy fuck! What do you think you are? Some kind of ninja? Give me a break. Trust me, I'm an intro. I'm gonna catch whoever did this, I swear. Whoever you are, it's not a public airfield in case you haven't noticed. Show yourself! You see that? Is that him? Whoa, holy shit. 
whoever did this. Oh, goddamn! I'd find him. He's dead. Come on, tough guy. Ah, oh, goddamn. Man, he's close. Stay dark. That was a little bit messy, but oh well. Grim, the dish is taken care of. Then let's get you out of here. My car is outside the gate. All the pursuit vehicles are inside. Attention, this attention, is all personnel. There's there an escaped prisoner inside the compound. He is to be considered armed and dangerous. Report to your security positions immediately. You are clear to use deadly force. Bad news. Sarah's fine, but I have to push back the call I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. Warning! The prisoner has had extensive combat training. He is armed and extremely dangerous. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. Try, I 
Oh no, what? She killed me! Ah, <sighs> she tries again, shall we? Sam, Let bad news. Slow. Sarah's slow, fine, slow, but slow, I have to push slow. back the call I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. in the window. <clears throat> so for now. Run Sam! Run! It's Sam. I'm in town and could use a little help. Uh, if you're asking for help, we better do this face to face. And what the hell's going on back there? I thought you'd recognize the sound. Remind you of anything? Yeah. I rock. Yo, Sam. How's your little girl? She's doing fine. I got a picture from her in the mail. I think her mom helped her draw. Nice. My kids don't draw me pictures or write or anything. They don't write because you can't read, man. <laughs> Clap it up. But when I get out of here... <laughs> You're going to kindergarten. You know, I hear they got entrance exams at kindergarten now, Sam. I don't know if Vic's going to make it in. <laughs> of what we've been through together in the Gulf. That's why he called me after Third Echelon did their little number on him. He needed someone to watch his back. I was the only one who could. 
guys will see in the next chapter.